Hey guys, it's Jeremiah from Budget Briars, and today we are going to go over my collection, my seconds, and my uh, favorite gym pipes, as I call them. But uh, I'm not going to go over my entire collection because there's a lot of them that are basically just no name, you know, everyday beater pipes, really. So I'm going to leave those for another day. I'll probably make another video. But the. Uh, other thing is, I was going to show you my tampers also, but um, I think we're going to wait on those. I'm going to make a separate video, show you how to make the one like I showed you the first time, uh, the first tamper I showed you. But uh, I'm not smoking today. I'm feeling a little under the weather, so I think I'm going to hold off on that. And uh, also cleaning up, it's kind of why the room's a mess. It's kind of funny how the day you choose to clean, your room's actually messier than it normally is. But uh that's all I have for you, so let's uh, let's get started on the collection. How about that? First one I have for you is a Canadian Club. It is a seconds pipe. It is a Cumway second, I believe. I got this at the West Coast Pipe Show in Las Vegas in November. It's an interesting shape. I've had another Cumways. I've actually had a, a Cumways tradition that was the exact same shape, um, just a little bit different stem. It was a saddle bit stem, but uh, that's kind of how I figured it was a Cumway second. Then there is this, which is a Manson House. Uh, again, I believe I got this one also at the West Coast Pipe Show. Um, don't really remember much about it, but I do know that this is also come away second. Then I have my Royal Danish, which is a little nose warmer. It's the only nose warmer I have. Uh, this is a Stanwell second, and I got this at an antique shop for four dollars and twenty-five cents. But um, it's really heavily stained. Even after, even now, after about a year of having it, if I smoke it, it stain will still come off on my hands. Next is the Royal Lancer. Now, the only thing I can think about on this one is that this is another Stanwell second. Um, but I could be completely off on that. This could just be its own standalone pipe. But everything so far seems to point that it's a Stanwell second. And it's a nice little Dublin Zulu shape. I, I really like it. Next is my... Uh, Ted Select. Now this pipe is a little bit different in the fact that it's only stamped Ted Select. Now Ted's is a local tobacconist here in the Oklahoma area based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And when I went to their shop I asked them, you know, who have they used to make pipes for them and they told me that the only two people they've ever used are GBD and Cumways. So I believe that this is a Cumways because I have had another Cumways that's the same shape as this. And last on the seconds is my, it's just stamped import, but uh, talked to a few people about it, a couple uh, more knowledgeable people than me, and they say that it is probably a GBD second. Um, it's probably one of my favorite Bulldogs. It's got the twin bore stem. Uh, I use this as a clincher more than anything because um, I, I don't think I'm going to bite through that. But those are the seconds, so we'll go on to my more, some are name brands, some I just like because they're my favorites, but these are my gems as I call them. Um, first, you've already seen the Eric Nording. Um, again, I got this for $5 antique shop. I had no idea what it was when I bought it. Uh, next is a, I can't remember what it's called now, Savelle, Savelli, uh, it's a Gemini. It's got a really interesting stem on there. I'm not sure what material it is, but I really like this pipe. Um, man, I got this online, eBay. I think I paid five dollars for it. Good looking pipe. It cleaned up really well. Next, I'm gonna let's see. Let's do. Well, I guess I'll do my Savinelli's. This is my Savinelli Sherwood. Really love this shape. Um, I believe this is called like a tobacco grain pattern or uh, rustication on there. It's a it's a sharp pipe, smokes really well, and when I got this, it, it was really really dirty, so it cleaned up really well. 
next uh, is this Savinelli. I got this one on smokingpipes.com. Cost me fifty dollars. It was a Christmas present to myself. Beautiful pipe though. Um, just now starting smoking it. I haven't smoked it much, but it's slowly, slowly getting up in my rotation as one of my favorites. Let's see, next is my Savinelli Oscar. I showed you this one in a previous post. It's it's a nice little pipe. I use it fairly often, especially if I'm, you know, just working around, not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Let's see, then there is my Cumway's Apple. You've seen this one. Now I bought uh, this one in a lot. There was about four or five Cumway's pipes in it, and this is the only one that really stuck out to me. The rest were kind of in either bad shape or uh, I just didn't really care for them. So uh, this is the one I kept. And I really like this one. It's probably one of my only, I'd call, apple-shaped pipes. Okay, next, uh, this one, a lot of people would argue that this shouldn't be in anybody's highlights or best pipes, but this is a uh, Westbrook, Dr. Uh, Gerbro, Gabro, however you guys, uh, Grabo, however you say it. Uh, sorry, just dropped my pipe. The reason this one is in my favorites is I have yet to see another smooth poker Westbrook. Um, there's a lot of rusticated ones out there, but no one's yet to produce a smooth one and it's actually got pretty nice grain uh, I really like it, stains kinda of faded up here but not that great of a smoker but it's a good looking pipe okay, next is my uh, one and only Peterson uh, it's the 999 shape uh, this is my second pipe that I bought new the only other pipe that I've ever bought new uh, definitely good to have a Peterson. I like it a lot, but it's definitely not my favorite smoker. Next is my uh, Stanwell Buffalo. Now I got this pipe on eBay. The lister, or the seller, had put up a random picture of some broken up bulldog. I liked bulldogs at the time, so uh, Put it up there, had a small price on it, and he called it a mystery Stanwell. Didn't have, he had one picture, so I took a chance and bought it, and this is what showed up. At first I thought it was a mistake, and he just sent me the wrong pipe, but uh, he, after I talked to him, he was like, no, this is the right pipe, that's, that's the one. And so, got a really nice big pipe for really cheap, and I'm saying like under $10 cheap. But, uh, yeah, this is a great pipe great for those long smokes that you like. This is my Stanwell Majestic Shape 186 I believe and I got this also at the West Coast Pipe Show. I think I paid him twenty dollars for it. Uh, definitely the most interesting shaped pipe that I have I believe and it's, uh, it's definitely a conversation starter. A lot of people really really like the shape on it. But uh, I believe that's it as far as my highlights go. Now, I do have quite a bit more pipes, but those are just your everyday average pipes. Um, I'll probably make a video of all my pipes at one point in time, but for now, that's it on those. Well, guys, I kind of want to keep this video short, so uh, I guess I'm just going to end it there. Now, I'm not sure what video I'm going to do next week, so if you guys have an idea or want me to post any type of video or... I don't know, have any suggestions, uh, put it down in the comments and I'll uh, see what I can do for you. Um, yeah, that's really about all I have for you. I'm going to go hit the hay. See you guys next week.